First today, a big weekend, of course, in the I'm a Celeb castle as the first celebs, Holly Arnold and Ruth Henschel, left the camp. I'm going to be talking to Ruthie a bit later. But somebody who's, well, is very disappointed to see Ruthie leave the jungle is her pal and former jungle finalist, John Barrowman, who joins me now. Hello, Angel. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, that was a shame about Ruthie, wasn't it? Because I know how close you two are. You've been friends for years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is that, you know, it's that's the, the way the show's played out. And the fact that she was in there for two weeks, she really did a great job. She learned a lot about herself, she said. She was able to experience the, the camp and making new friends. So I think she came out of it not only sad that she left, but also happy that she gained so much from doing the show. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's how you felt about it too. How do you think you would have got on in Wales though? Oh, I think it'd been fine. I've, I've got a house in Wales, so I already know how to deal with all the, the critters. Beautiful. So it's not, um, Wales to me would be actually, uh, the, the thing they have to watch out for Lorraine, you know how we have those wee haggis creatures up in Scotland? Yes. They have to watch out for the Barabreef creatures That's in Wales. That's true. Yes, of yes. course. And, and that is a giant problem. And they've been quite lucky so far for not to have been invaded yet by that. So it's Correct. good. But you loved your time in that show. And everybody always says when they come out, they say, oh, it was an amazing experience. It's, is it like childbirth that you sort of forget all the beasties and the horribleness of it all when it stops? Well, I don't know much about childbirth myself, there, Lorraine, unless you know something I don't. <laughs> um, but the the you do forget about everything, and the one the thing that you know I loved my time in the jungle, and I loved everything that I did. I had a great experience. I went in for it to have. Fun. I will admit now that I spoke with Ruthie before she went in, and I, uh, to Victoria Derbyshire before she went in to give them kind of a background of advice of. Just to basically, and one of the, they, they'll both say, I said go in and have a great time, enjoy yourself, and make sure you enjoy it because it'll be one of the best times you'll ever have in your life. Wow, see, that's perfect advice. That is perfect advice, is that? Now, look, we're very excited. Doctor Who, mm -hmm. Captain Jack, it's been a long time coming. We always thought it yeah. would, but finally, is it actually going to happen now? Well, yes, it's going to happen on uh, New Year's Day, and... Uh, <laughs> that he, he will return and he will, he will meet uh, the 13th Doctor, but I'm not going to tell you how. Uh, he will also be part and parcel to saving uh, the, the universe and the world from the Dalek, uh, the, the, the invasion. Um, so, yeah, there's not much I can tell you, but it's going to be an epic, exciting adventure and typical Captain Jack flirtation, fun and outrageousness, and also making new friends and saving the world. Saving the world, how cool is that? It's just so good, it awesome, and it? it's brilliant. And do you do lots of these conventions and things like that? Because I mean, it's a, it's a whole new fan base and people, this is not just a TV show, it's like Star Trek. You know, I'm a huge Star Trek fan. It's much, yeah. much more than that. And people, it really helps people. These shows really do mean ever such a lot. Well, they do. I mean, the one thing that, that we, we forget that, that TV shows, and I mean, you know this and I know this, that there's an impact that you make. And one thing about Doctor Who and Captain Jack and also going to these conventions, the impact that you make on people's lives, that they like to tell you how you've helped them change certain things. And also, uh, particularly Captain Jack, help people to be, to be truthful and honest about who they are and not be ashamed of who they are. So I'm really proud of it. I've always said that, that Jack has changed my life. Jack is a, a character I will always go back to if I'm asked to play him and portray him. And I'll be doing, when this whole COVID thing is over, I'll be doing mentions because I love meeting the fans. And it's really important to me to see the people who've helped to put me into you know, where I am today. Oh, it's fantastic. And where you are today looks absolutely beautiful. I love all your decorations. Like my Dalek. I love your Dalek. I think that's, that's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It really is. Only John Barham would have a Dalek in his kitchen. <laughs> I love it. I think it's wonderful. It really is. But look, how are things there? I mean, are things okay? Is it quite tough, all the restrictions? Are, are you able to have celebrations, do you think? No, 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 no. And, and, and the people who did have the celebrations and, and are going out and doing stuff, it was a bit irresponsible in that sense. Um, we didn't, you know, Scott and I just stayed at home. We had uh, a small dinner with ourselves and 
Um, my mum and dad were back in their house by themselves. So uh, we've got a curfew now from 10 o'clock in the evening till 5 a.m. in the morning where everything shuts down. But California, Los Angeles County, which we're not in, we're in Riverside County, Los Angeles County has gone back into a complete lockdown wow. uh, for the next uh, three or four weeks. So we think that's it. it I mean, the, the spread is quite bad here. And again, you know, I'm not a fan of Donald Trump and what he did with denying it and all the stuff. I just think it's part and parcel to blame for where we are as a country at the moment and the, the situation that we're in. So, but we'll get through it. We will persevere when the vaccine comes out. We should be vaccinated. We should uh, uh, not be afraid of that because it's one thing that will open up, you know, uh, uh, well, open up every country. It'll open the UK sure. back up. It'll open up the US. It'll open up the world to be able to be back to where we were. Oh, I hope so. I really do. And of course, Joe Biden, I know you're a fan of Joe Biden. And overnight, the poor wee soul, he's fractured his foot. So we just hope that he's going to be OK and he's not going to have to hobble along in, in January when he takes over. Yeah, the foot will be fine because he'll be able to boot Donald Trump out of the White House with it when it's better, so I can't wait to see that. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be a good Scottish boot up the bum to get him out of the White House. A boot up the bookie, absolutely. John, it's always, it is always a joy to talk to you. Thank you so, so much. It's lovely to... Welcome, to always a joy. Wait, don't, don't go, don't go. We have a wee surprise for you because oh. I know it's your birthday and I want to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lorraine. Happy birthday to you, you gorgeous piece of woman. <laughs> we have a wee surprise for you. Have you, have you got? Let me see. There's something over here that's happening. <laughs> Hillary, there it is. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece of woman, you. There you go. <laughs> look, look at that. Oh, She's got Luke. gorgeous George on there. Happy That's birthday. So cute. Happy birthday. That's my that is my favourite. Well, apart from you and John Barryman, obviously. Yeah, no, it's George, not my George don't worry. I'll be back in the bedroom in a minute. I'll be right there. Marine's on. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. That's brilliant. Happy, I'm giving you a virtual hug virtual and a hug. virtual kiss for your birthday. I can't hug. believe how many it is. It's, oh, I know. It's the moisturiser is obviously working. I You're know. doing something right. Thank you. It's really good. I love you've got me. You've got me a, a George Clooney cake. We've got you more than that. Go on then. We've got your t-shirt to wear. The loving couple. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> I think Amal and Steve may have something Look to say that. about that. <laughs> it's similar to the t-shirts we wore last year for your big. <laughs> your pre now, what's this? We've also no, got a, uh, a present here. This is this is from Dee's niece. She prepared this for you. Right. You're not allowed to open it under the regulations, but when you do, this is what it'll look like. Show me, show me, Just show so me. So viewers can see. Oh, it's a picture of your that's Angus. Beautiful. So that was Dee's niece. What's her name? Alex. Alex. Alex is that for you? Oh, Alex. Oh, it's quite that's a good absolutely likeness, isn't it? Beautiful. It's lovely. Think? And yes. card from uh, Gorgeous George. Oh, yeah. Which I'll read to you. Can go on then, you? go on. Hi, Lorraine. Yes. <laughs> George Clooney here. Sorry I can't be with you in person today, but how would you like to spend the evening with me? What? I've lined up a special hotline you can call tonight and we can have a blether about your big day and my new film. <laughs> See you then. Lots of love. <laughs> George, kiss, Can I kiss, just say, kiss. I think maybe you? George might not have written that. I think he did. <laughs> Do you think he I might think not have? Got, you, but you, if I got to talk to him today? You're talking to him today. Oh, that would be so lovely. And then after that, what George. would you be doing? Rave, big gathering, maybe private meeting in a restaurant nothing, somewhere in London with nothing, 30 people? Nothing. <laughs> not a thing. I think I'm going to watch Below Deck with Rosie. Oh, fair enough. Because we're at a crucial point <laughs> of Below Deck Mediterranean. So we're going to watch that. Steve will be upstairs in disgust watching the football. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is exciting. Well, it's the beginning, isn't it? It's the beginning of a it's big day. It's exciting. You God. just have a wonderful day. You need to think what the I'm going whole, to say to George. All our viewers, all of us, all of Scotland, the whole universe... <laughs> I'm wishing you a Thank very you. happy birthday. And lovely John Barryman as well. Don't you just love how he goes Scottish when he talks to me? <laughs> I does. love him. I absolutely. He's one of the loveliest folks you yeah, could ever you meet. you gorgeous piece gorgeous. of woman, you. <laughs> love that. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank Bye, you. Lots of love. Oh, Big kisses so for Tom Springs. Great. So excited about him being in Doctor Who. It's brilliant. Thank you, Hills. A pleasure. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here 
to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.